you'll always you got it you know that you got it baby take the moment you got it it's your hey y'all welcome back to another vlog today is wednesday i'm gonna use some of this in my hair okay. I'm putting it in my leave out, not in the actual hair. I'm just trying to take better care of my leave out <laughs> because, yeah, I'd be suffering. Hope you guys are having a good week or a good Sunday if you're watching this on Sunday. I actually just have a couple errands to run today. It's supposed to be like not cute outside though, so hopefully we could be in and out. But I need to get a few things at Trader Joe's and Whole Foods. Yeah, and then I kind of want to go to Nordstrom. I want to look for a pair of blue jeans. I've been looking for a minute. I think I shared with you guys. I found ones at Zara that fit really good a couple of weeks ago, uh, but they're way too long. And I mean, I guess I can just get them, you know, fixed. But I kind of wanted to keep looking. We'll check Nordstrom since I have a gift card to Nordstrom. I need to get an espresso pods because. I've been out for a minute and I need to stop getting coffee outside. So we're going to go to Nespresso because I never know which way to go with this. Okay, I think I'm going to go this way. What's crazy is I grew up on curling irons. I don't even think like the wands existed when I was like a teen. So I literally grew up on curling irons and it's funny because like now I'm like how do you use this? Like I completely forgot how to use them. Oh wrong way. Oh no. <laughs> okay hold on maybe I need to um okay. I'll be forgetting. I just want a couple curls, nothing too crazy. My hair is done. Threw on my outfit for today. These are the Abercrombie 90s jeans. I've been wearing these for like the past month because they're the only ones that kind of fit right now. I'm gonna wear this mixed with this perfume. So scent combo. I actually tried a few different washes from Abercrombie. And nothing really like wowed me with this style. There's a few different blues. And one of the blues is kind of like that 80s blue. I forget what it's called. Um, my mom was telling me like it was really popular in the 80s. I forget what it was called. But um, I liked it. But I feel like it's something that I would have want for every day. I want it for like sometimes. It's not like an everyday jean for me. So I'm looking for more of a jean that I could wear with different outfits and just yeah anyways uh, I just ate perfume I'm gonna put my necklace back on I took it out last week so I'm gonna put it back on I just had to get gas real quick because I was on E. <laughs> I'm trying to decide where I should get coffee from today. I think I'll go to Nordstrom's Cafe actually. I'm gonna throw on some music so I will talk to y'all a little later. The mall doesn't open till 11 so I'm just gonna go to Whole Foods first, grab the groceries and then we'll go to the mall i actually thought about going to trader joe's first but there's flooding on one of the roads so i need to figure out which road i can actually take to go to trader joe's because it rained like crazy last night it was a really bad storm so yeah i actually brought my bags i'm so proud of myself this is peak adulting for me because let me tell you i always forget my bags i'm constantly buying new reusable bags so i always forget to bring them but Today I remembered I brought my two Whole Foods bags, my two bags, and then I have I have one for Trader Joe's as well. So I'm proud of myself, like girl. When I tell you I always forget these bags, it's ridiculous. It's actually ridiculous the amount of bags I own because I constantly have to buy new ones. Like girl. 
I'm using this moisturizer because my hands are a little ashy. I need to look at my menu to see what I need to actually pick up at Whole Foods. I know I need some chicken. I saw this really good recipe on um, Instagram. It was with the crock pot. So I want to try to make it. So I'm going to get some chicken for that. And then um, I need some potatoes, just a few veggies and stuff like that. So yeah, today's Wednesday, so I need to cook for today, tomorrow, and Friday, and Saturday. I'm going to look at my menu. That's one of the things I really like about GoodNotes, is you can get the app on your phone, and then you can see whatever you do on your... Oh no, it didn't sync. You do have to make sure you sync stuff. I didn't sync the menu, so I have no idea what... <laughs> no! I cannot believe that. Let's see if I close it and go back into the app. I don't think that's going to work, but no. I forgot to sync my iPad to my phone. So, yeah. I have no idea what I had on here. Crap. I can't believe I did that. I was literally like, oh, I got my list in my phone. I don't need to worry about it. And I really don't. I really don't. Girl. All right. All right. Let's go that was a fail that was kind of a fail but i don't know i want to cook that one thing tonight so at least i know that but everything else that i had on there i really don't remember all right let's see my bags you have 15 minutes to exit all right, y'all, I'm about to put the stuff in the car. I did most of the groceries here, honestly. I don't really need to go to Trader Joe's, but I still might go. <laughs> we'll see how I feel. All right. Oh, this bag is heavy. Ooh. Okay. All right. She two-pieced it. She two-pieced it. All right. I guess we gotta bring the cart back. <laughs> Be a good citizen. We are off to the mall. This Whole Foods did have a coffee bar, but I didn't really want their coffee. I kind of wanted Nordstrom. I think I just kind of made up my mind that I was getting Nordstrom coffee. It's like almost 11.30 right now. Like, I don't know how I spent an hour in Whole Foods. I really don't know. Like, what was I doing? In there? Like, what was I doing? I don't know what I was doing in there for an hour. Frolicking. I cannot wait to get coffee. I feel like I need 10 cups of coffee right now. I don't know why. Last night I did my, I've been doing the Sleepy Girl mocktail and last night it didn't work. It didn't work. <laughs> I don't know what it was. I think I was just really, really anxious. It had been working, but last night was the first night where it didn't work. I don't know where I want to park. Do I want to park over here? I don't know where I want to park today. I think I'm a park over here. All right, so I really do not want to spend my whole day in this mall, so I'm gonna try to get in and out of here. This one's like too short and I like the color though and then this one, the other one's like makes my butt too flat.
just finished at the mall i didn't find anything at nordstrom but i did go to sephora and i got a couple things huda beauty came out with a new powder a new shade called peach pie and i wanted to try it it's the same easy bake powder but the shade is like an orangey tone so i wanted to try this um then i needed a new brow pencil this is the refi pencil and i got it in medium this time i've been getting dark i hope i like it let me open this up i really hope i like it but sometimes i feel like the dark is just a little too dark i like it some days and other days i'm like mm, it's a little dark so y'all this is always so hard to open I had lunch at Nordstrom. It was pretty good. I always get the same thing whenever I have lunch at Nordstrom, though. It's the, um, I think it's called ginger sesame salad. And I had Diet Coke. Not the best, but it was zero calories. Look what I have to do to get this pencil out of here. They didn't have any testers, so I couldn't tell. Oh, this is perfect, I think. This is going to work. Okay, so that's what I got at Sephora. I didn't get anything anywhere else. I went to Aritzia, tried on two pairs. Wait, I tried two pairs of jeans at Nordstrom. I really liked the flared out style, the first pair I tried. But they were so, they were so flattening on my butt. It was crazy. Like, no, way too flattening. Like, I'm okay with a little bit of flattening, but these were extreme. And the other pair I tried from Mother, they were too short. They were like ankle jeans. Then I went to Aritzia and I tried on some more of goldies i tried on a goldies a couple weeks ago so i tried a size 26 today and they were a little bit too small so like the 26 everything fits perfectly except well actually one of them did fit like your standing jeans like you can't sit in them <laughs> well you can well you can <laughs> but you're gonna be in pain you're gonna have to unbutton some buttons so i feel like my perfect size would be 27 last time i tried size 28 they didn't have 27 in the store but most likely 27 would be my perfect size for those um i guess i'll give you guys a little weight update since we're in the vlog i feel like the vlogs are where i get my updates at this point so I'm currently 70 pounds down from my start. So I started at 209. I'm at 139 today. Well, as of yesterday, I did weigh myself today. I'm trying not to weigh myself every day. And that's what I did for the first like four months, I want to say. And then I stopped doing it in like November. I stopped weighing myself every day. I felt like it was just very consuming. So I do like once a week now or yeah, like once a week, I would say. I try not to do any more than that. I've gone up to two weeks without weighing myself. But at the two-week mark, I kind of want to, you know, weigh and make sure everything's going the right direction. Which, I'm doing the right things, so it should be. I keep saying it's crazy every week, but like, the 130s is, that's the end of my goal, pretty much. I do want to be like in the lower 130s, but as far as my BMI, I'm in a normal BMI range now. So I'm not considered like obese or... Um, overweight anymore am I overweight still no I'm not overweight I think overweight for my height is 141 I think I'm in the normal range pretty sure um yeah so I was I started out in the obese category and then I went down to which I feel like these words are just words they don't you know whatever but if I'm being technical that's where I started I went down to overweight and now I'm in the normal range and that's where I want to stay for my health for my emotional health, mental health, physical health is number one, obviously. Well, to me at least. So yeah. Alright, y'all. I don't feel like going to Trader Joe's. I knew this would happen. I knew. I just knew it. I knew as soon as I left the mall, I would not want to go to Trader Joe's. Especially after eating. Especially after eating that salad. I definitely don't want to go anywhere besides home. <laughs> it's also 1.30 golly i don't know what i was doing in that mall for all these hours I do want to use the crock pot today so i should go home because that recipe is going to take a few hours ah! oh no all right so i'm back home i'm gonna do a quick grocery haul because i actually need to start the chicken asap because it's gonna take like four hours to cook it um so yeah let's get into this whole haul i just got some burger buns these are for clay i got whole wheat buns i got some sourdough bread this is for blts and we may also do like tuna melts on the weekend so i got some sourdough for that then i got three of these um these potato one two three all right then i got this this is the belvoir 
Farm Organic Elderflower Rose. Really good, but it's not something I would have daily. I just got one. And then I got some corn for Cali. Vodka sauce for pasta night. For pasta, we either do lentil pasta or chickpea pasta. Got this. This is the Sanzo lychee sparkling water. I got these last week. I got one last week. It was really good, so I got the pack today. This is similar to Spindrift because it does have some juice in there. I think it's 25 calories per can, so really low calorie, but it tastes pretty good to me at least. I think this will be good to like mix in with other stuff as well to just add volume. Bucha, I just got the pomegranate. I like getting the big ones. Got some salad. This is Southwest. Green beans, vegetable broth for tonight, salmon. I should have gotten more salmon. I didn't realize how little that was gonna be. I got some broccoli, bacon for the BLTs on the weekend, limes. I love limes. Some fish squares for clay. And then, then I got two trays of chicken for tonight's dinner. Using this crock pot, it's a little small, but it should be. The recipe says to add a little bit of flour in the bottom to make the gravy a little thicker. Oh, I should have been did this. <laughs> All right, so we're just adding some more lime to the chicken. We're gonna season, we're doing garlic. I took a screenshot of all the ingredients you used, so I'm gonna just look through. Oh. Garlic powder. And she used a generous amount of each one. I was like, whoa. <laughs> Onion powder. Onion powder. Lemon pepper. I don't have lemon pepper. Oh, this is lemon pepper. I lied. This is Mrs. Dash lemon pepper. Girl, this is drier than the Sahara. Lemon pepper, some Tony's. I don't have Tony's. Okay, paprika. So we have paprika. I'm gonna do some paprika. This is smoked paprika from Trader Joe's. Adobo. I'm gonna add some adobo. Not so much with the adobo because there's a lot of sodium in here. I'm gonna add a little bit of savon as well. He said one third cup of vegetable or chicken broth. This is half a cup, so I'm gonna do a little bit. This is half a cup, so I'm gonna add this. She said to cook it on high for four hours, so I just turned it on high. I hope it's on, is it on? Yeah, I think it's on. All right, so I'm gonna cook it on high for four hours. It's currently 2.48, so it's four, five, six. 6.48, just in time for dinner. At you will not believe what I forgot to pick up today. I literally forgot to pick up Nespresso pods, you guys. Like, I can't believe myself right now. I forgot, you know, I literally forgot. You know when I remembered? I remembered as I was driving out the garage. As soon as I paid for the ticket to leave the garage, I was like, I was like, oh my gosh, I forgot Nespresso pods. It's because I'm not used to there being an Nespresso in that mall that it completely escaped my mind. And also my list was never in my phone. Like. It was supposed to be. So it is what it is. Today, tomorrow, and Friday are like my errands days. Well, I'll talk to you guys about that as well because I kind of gave myself a new schedule for the new year. So we can go chat, I guess, while this is cooking. I just got some PR packages. So I'm gonna open those up and then I got some stuff from Amazon. So I was a little Amazon haul. But really quickly, like I did give myself a different schedule this year than I've had in the past as you know i get more used to this job i guess i want to definitely be i definitely want to be more productive and just optimize my schedule so i basically broke down my days into different groups i guess so monday tuesday and wednesday are filming editing content types of days so i'm going to be filming content whether it be for tiktok instagram youtube taking pictures editing that content that's going to take place on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So Wednesday is actually 
split so it's 50 50 so really monday and tuesday and then like and then half of wednesday i guess so those three days are definitely dedicated to those things and just getting that work done then we have thursday friday so wednesday half of wednesday thursday and friday are gonna be my vlogging days where i vlog run errands do everything i need to do that's outside of the house just yeah any appointments all that stuff i'm gonna put on those days the reason why i'm doing that is because i felt like i was losing control of my life when everything was everywhere and i needed some type of structure and i feel like this could definitely help me so monday and tuesday this week i filmed i did all that work i edited and i didn't open i didn't pull out the vlog camera and i felt like a little bit of i felt like a weight was lifted i felt like i didn't need to be vlogging and figuring out like where i'm vlogging what i'm vlogging on that day i basically planned my week around my schedule a little bit better and i think so far i feel a little less stressed so i'll update you guys once i do it for about a month to see how i feel anyways let's get into this pr i kind of want to open this box I don't know who it's from and i'm curious let's see it's <gasps> it's fenty i'm filming this tonight this is the new fenty concealer i'm excited so they sent easy drop the blot and powder the um Ooh, this is an eye cream Ooh, i've never tried the eye cream i thought this was the lip thing Ooh, and then this is the makeup sponge which i never tried in three shades in the concealer so this is everything i'm excited then this is from tatcha it says tatcha all over it so, so they sent me their rice face wash which i love they sent me the dewy skin cream which i also love the silk canvas prime oh i'm excited to try this mm. and then also they sent me the comfort lip kisu lip mask which i love this as well so thank you tatcha i just started using their cleanser in moisturizer and 10 out of 10 all right so let me show you what i got from amazon first i got this little kit for my lashes this is what it came with i don't need the bottle but this is a little bottle you can use this to <laughs> you can use this to clean your eyes but also you could probably use this for other things i don't know then it came with a little fan so i could dry my lashes what i really needed was this little brush thing to clean my lashes it came with a bunch of spoolies as well I got a bonnet this is just one of these it's just a brown i wanted a brown bonnet don't ask me why you could wear it both ways as well like this or like this she's cute i got that then i got this waist trainer um waist trimmer i should say from sweet sweat i used to have one of these a while back like a black one but it's too big for me so i wanted to get a new one i got a medium and i feel like it should fit yeah it should be okay got this didn't get the balm i'm not sure if i want the balm i don't know i have used it in the past but it gets messy so i just got this for now came with a little case this is cute a little mesh case so i could keep this in my gym bag lastly i got a book this is called glossy ambition beauty and the inside story of emily weiss this is white says glossier so amazon knows me y'all amazon knows me they why they flash this pink book in my face <laughs> that's my amazon haul i need to clean my living room it's so messy i also need to look at some trees because i wanted to get a faux plant y'all my christmas tree is still up <laughs> but not only is it still up it's half up <laughs> It's ha let me show y'all let me show y'all what i'm talking about touch me i'm gonna explain why it looks like this in a second hold on this is what it looks like y'all don't mind the tv cavi was watching this i don't know what this is this is what it looks like do you know why it looks like this the reason why it looks like this is because i asked my man my man my man to take it down And he has yet to take it down. I took down the first section of it and I was struggling to take down the rest. It was just so heavy. I could not get it up because I'm too short, I guess. So he's like, yeah, I'll take it down. 
why am I still looking at this tree? I do want to get a faux plant. I'm just not sure which one I want, like what type of faux plant, but I want to get something like green because I really like the way that looks. I'm not going to put the pompous back there. I put the pompous somewhere else already. It has a new home. I want something different. Um, so I want to get that and then I want to get an area rug as well. So I'm looking for those two things for the living room and then for my bedroom. I had said that I didn't want to get a TV. I got the projector. But like sometimes I find myself wanting to sit and watch TV and not have to put together the projector because it's annoying. So I think I'm going to start looking for a TV for my room. Um, I don't watch TV that often, but whenever I want to, I want to, you know, like it's like I just have my days. That I feel like watching something and I want the convenience of having it in my room because to get caught up on Real Housewives of Potomac. I think they came out with two episodes since the last time I watched it last week and this week. I'm about to make my little um, sleepy girl mocktail. It's a lot later. We're gonna use this sparkling water today. This is the magnesium that I'm using. This one has a berry flavor. I really like the flavor. This one does have magnesium citrate as well as a, two other magnesiums. So it is a magnesium citrate is a laxative. So um, beware, okay? Like you don't want to go crazy with this. Just an FYI, it might send you to the bathroom. There are other types of magnesium you can get. We're going to do the cherry juice a little bit this stuff is this stuff is potent okay and this is what I feel like really helps put me to sleep Ooh. okay y'all so this is my drink I'm gonna let that settle right, y'all I'm gonna get ready for bed now I'm gonna do my skincare so it's actually 9 15 so it's really not too late but I wanted to go to bed a little early tonight because it's not even early, but early for me. I wanted to go to bed early tonight because I want to wake up really, really early to film. I wanted to try the Fenty products and I want to have it filmed, edited, and uploaded tomorrow. So I think I'm going to wake up early, early at like 5.30 to film it. So in order to do that, I need to go to bed really early. So that's what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to make fetch happen. I actually turned my phone on downtime. So that I'm not on the apps and stuff. So I feel like a robot sometimes. Like I literally will tell myself every day like, okay, at nine o'clock or eight o'clock, whatever, um, no more cell phone. Like, especially if I've been on it all day, like sometimes I spend all day on my phone between work and just consuming content. Usually at like nine o'clock, I tell myself, I don't wanna be on the phone anymore. I just wanna put it away. But like, I'll find myself still going back on there I'll completely forget, you know, I'll go check an email and then next thing you know, I'm scrolling on TikTok. So I put on downtime. Like that way I have to put in the password and it's going to help me not go on my phone. It's only been an hour, but I feel like it's working because I haven't gone on my phone at all. I think because I know there's a password, so I'm not even thinking about it. <laughs> well, I did think about it, but I didn't actually go on there. I guess it's working. By the way, Johnny put on a Christmas tree, so <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's literally nine days into the month. What's today's like? Today's like the eleventh, y'all. The tenth? I think it's the. I don't even know what today is. I think it's the eleventh. I actually put myself on a subscription of these because for a long time I because I kept forgetting to order them, and whenever I would need them, I wouldn't have them. So I put myself on the little subscription I think it's like a bi-monthly no not bi-monthly every two months how do you say that q2 months <laughs> all right this is my first time trying it with the lychee it tastes so good I've been using just plain um, sparkling water with no flavor the lychee adds a little bit of pizzazz Earlier today, y'all, I was literally trying to figure out how old I was, <laughs> and I could not remember to save my life. I literally had to sit there and think about, like, what year was I born in? I was trying to figure out how old I was turning next month. I was literally 
confused. I couldn't figure out <laughs> my age. And I feel like ever since I turned 28, I want to say, I have just not known how old I am. Like, if somebody were to ask me, I'll be like, uh, uh, ooh, uh, mm. 30 something. I think it just doesn't come up as often as when you're younger. I feel like when you're younger, your age is constantly being brought up and like, you know, it's constantly like a topic, you know, especially like in school, everyone's having birthdays all year long. But like once you're a grown, but once you're a grown adult, like it's kind of like, I mean, it's not something that comes up often. I'm going to do my hair real quick. I'm just going to brush it out. I'm going to try using these. This is my first time using these. How many are they? One, two, three, four. So four sections, I guess. Okay. Oh, this is cool. It has a little like fastening clip thing here. I need to make an appointment tomorrow. I'm trying to schedule a wax appointment for tomorrow. So I'm going to do that before I go to bed. Okay. That's cool. Yeah, I look at the picture on the box and this is not what it looks like at all. But it's okay. We're gonna... <laughs> tomorrow, we'll try again tomorrow. I'm not taking this out. I'm gonna use a bonnet to help secure everything and keep it in place. But this is not how it's supposed to look, you guys. Like, Oh my god. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> this is... We're just gonna pray that it looks cute in the morning. I feel like it, it has to look kind of cute, okay? Like, it's going to look not like the way it's supposed to look, but it's going to look kind of cute. I have high hopes. <laughs> so, don't copy what I did. These are the actual instructions on here. Looks nothing like what I did. So, I need more of these. Remind me tomorrow when I go out. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to take a shower, finish off my drink, brush my teeth. And I will talk to y'all tomorrow. Good morning. It's the next day. It's 6 20 in the morning. I'm about to film, but I wanted to show you guys my hair first. Show y'all what it looked like. I don't need to put on some of this body butter, but I wanted to take my hair down before so I don't get any oils on there. Ooh. This came out completely. Wait, three of them fell out. Okay. So it would have worked if I had done it the right way. Let's see this one. This one actually stayed. Okay, this one looks the best, clearly, because it stayed. But I don't think it's bad. I mean, I think if I did it the right way, it would definitely, obviously, look a lot better. These are a win in my books. I'm gonna learn. I'm gonna, I'm gonna watch a tutorial or 10 to figure out the right way to do it, but yeah use this stuff this stuff is really good i got this years ago in a pr package it's body butter it like melts into your hand so i'm gonna film and then i'll talk to you guys once i'm done i'm trying out the new huda beauty powder and the new fancy concealer today 7 15 i just got done filming i definitely love the Huda Beauty Powder and the Fenty Concealer. I thought I loved pink powders, but peach powder might be where it's at. It might be where it's at, especially for like brown skin. I think the peach does the brightening, color correcting. It does everything all in one, you know? So yeah, I actually do need to go get my kids ready for school. So I'll talk to y'all a little bit later. You are and what you're supposed to do with that thing. Whenever somebody likes you or doesn't like you, that determines whether or not you're having a good day or a bad day and you are you have lost control of your your own life so i think and you get from the world what you project into the world and you project into the world what you were raised with and what you were raised hey y'all it's 9 30 so it's been a few hours since i last vlogged the kids went to school like an hour ago and i've just been kind of getting myself together since they left i cleaned up a little bit the living room johnny took out the christmas tree so i was just cleaning off the mirror i had to put it back in the corner and i um cleaned it with the glass cleaner um 
and then I've also been on Amazon just trying to find like decor and stuff like that I want to get a different color pillowcase I really love these pillows but I want to change the case for the rest of the year I guess so these will be like my Christmas colors and then I'll do like maybe a beige or a brown or something I'm looking on Amazon for that I may actually just get it from the same company on Amazon just a brown version basically then I'm also looking at like little um like tables so I think I'll get a little table for the corner of the chair I'll show you guys because I feel like something's missing and for this area I feel like I want to get a little table like a little stool thing for this section just to close it off I kind of miss having the mirror in this corner although I did like it in the other section this is my outfit by the way I'm wearing this tank from my outfit online my pants are from lounge this is just a robe I got from Ulta a couple weeks ago actually maybe it was like in December I turned on the TV because I thought I was gonna watch something but I decided that mm, no we got we got work to do also I'm thinking about keeping this plant here I actually really love evergreen and we have a lot of evergreen like outside so like all year round obviously it's evergreen <laughs> so I think I'm gonna keep this I really like it and I feel like it's not limited to just Christmas and these are all from Target I got these last year well 2022 finally made it out the house it took me so long to get out the house but i'm gonna go get the nespresso pods today i can't believe i forgot them yesterday so we're gonna grab coffee nespresso pods um i do need to go to trader joe's i have my list with me today so i know exactly what i need yesterday i didn't do too bad like i actually got most of the stuff that i wanted on my grocery list except what kind of hi can i get this uh, small salted caramel cold brew. Small salted? Yeah. Anything else? That's it. Okay, you can drive it up. Okay. It comes with oat milk, right? Yes. Okay, thank you. Hello. Hi. Hi. You are gorgeous. Oh, thank you. You, <laughs> you as well. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good one. Thank you. So, I just got to the mall. Let me turn off my music. I got a cold brew today. Mm. Um, the first stop we're making in this mall is the Nespresso store like that's the first place we're going because what happened yesterday is not happening to me today <laughs> hold my little camera just in case I do vlog but probably y'all not gonna see me until I get back <laughs> in the car So that was a pretty successful trip. I ended up getting a bunch of things at H&M. Their new collection for like, I guess spring. I thought it was really nice. So I got some things triggered when I get home. And then I also got, I also got, I got my Nespresso pods. And now I'm gonna go to, um, now I'm gonna go to Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's is my last stop. And from outside, I'm gonna do a quick Trader Joe's haul i didn't get too much because y'all know i did groceries yesterday this was kind of just like funsy stuff i don't know <laughs> i did need to get some more taco shells for my kids i got this box so i got these to have on saturday with the blt sandwiches got this chicken fried rice i wanted the plain one but they didn't have that today so i just got the chicken fried one some cheese this is just a pepper jack cheese basically some crackers to go with that this is a cracker assortment box it comes with four different 
It comes with four different variety crackers. Ooh, these look really cute. I didn't notice. I didn't notice how cute these little um, crackers looked on the box. I also got this rice. This is the multi blend, multi grain blend rice with vegetables. Never tried this. Some tomatoes for the BLTs and just to have in general. I got some ground turkey for the kids. And then I got some mayo. We're not really a big fan of, we're not really a mayo household, but a little bit of mayo on a sandwich won't hurt. And then I just got a box of grapes because we were out of grapes and I forgot to get them yesterday. So that is my really tiny Trader Joe's haul. I'll show you guys what I got at Nespresso as well. This golden caramel. And then I got this seasonal one. She still had some left for this so we got that one and johnny liked it so i think this is the one johnny liked i'm hoping it was these two as well this is a double espresso skiro she said this is good for like iced coffee like um not iced coffee but uh like a shaken espresso if i want to do an ice shaken espresso she says she recommends this one so i got that and then she also said this one ethiopia is really good i forget what she compared it to but there was something that I liked and she said, oh, it was the, um, it was the blue apron. Is it blue apron? I forget the name. Blue bottle coffee. She said they didn't have in stock, but this was similar. So I got that because Johnny likes the blue bottle coffee. I'm just going to fill up my little container. I did go to Target as well. I told you guys I was going to go to Target. I ended up getting a mouse pad. Totally unplanned but i needed one and i saw it so i got one and i just got some wipes i should start getting these at costco because they're cheaper at costco and yeah i should just start doing that i got this for Callie because she was out of body wash and this one smells really good i think she's gonna like it it's the girl scouts and native collab and lastly i just got my makeup remover wipes so that's my target haul I made myself a little bowl with some grapes and crackers um i do need to edit so i have my computer here so but i got a package so i figured we can unbox it kind of heavy i don't know what's in here but it's kind of heavy so maybe like hair products or something oh i think it is hair products hold on let me see can't be makeup makeup would not be this heavy it's not hair products it's rare beauty it's rare beauty's um skincare stuff this is their skincare so i definitely was not expecting this package hold on everyone has been raving about this this is such a nice package by the way i'm so excited about this package y'all oh my gosh i was not expecting this at all all right this is their mini hand lotion i've heard a lot of good things about this product so that's the little hand cream this is their body and hair mist I, oh this smells pretty good it definitely oh wait oh the girls were not lying about this this smells really good it smells so good and then this is a candle Oh, it has the same scent. It's a little rare beauty candle. And then this is the body lotion. I'm so excited. This is an aromatherapy pen, so you can like put it in different spots. This is really nice. It looks like decor. It looks like a coffee table book. Like it's so cute. Even the even the front of it is like so nice. Oh, I gotta do okay, I gotta submit something real quick. I do need to post on Instagram, so I need to do that. I just posted on TikTok. I'm trying to post every day, so follow me. I'm going to have my snack. I'm going to turn on something on the TV, and then I'm going to edit my video for tonight. This stuff, I'm drinking this. It's so good. It's the next day i don't remember where i ended the vlog yesterday but today is friday it's 12 o'clock so it's well into the day i've been working just getting stuff done i just took a shower and i'm about to just you know put on my body lotions and stuff so i figured i would try the rare beauty products 
This is the look. This is the lotion. I should have put this on before I got dressed. Ooh, this smells really good. The smell reminds me of something. I just can't put my finger on it. It has a nostalgic smell to it. If anybody knows what I'm thinking, comment below. You just twist it. Oh, and then you just squeeze it. Oh, this is nice. So for this one, you just twist it like sideways. And then I'm gonna do a little spray of the spray. I like the way that sprays it like has a really nice has a really nice um nozzle like it really mists it's like a mist not really a um traditional spray i really like that so that is pretty much it you can use it in your hair as well but i'm not going to i want to preserve my hair as much as possible but yeah everything looks good the lotion looks pretty good it has a little bit of a sheen to it so on today's agenda clean desk and clutter I have possibly get a petty i'm probably gonna do that next week i just don't really want to spend an hour and a half at the nail salon so i'm gonna do that next week my toes actually still look good and i did them weeks ago but i got the gel um sculpting gel on my big toes so it still looks really like new and fresh so we'll do that next week um i was supposed to get a wax but i didn't shave my legs <sighs> And I hate getting waxes when my legs are not shaved because it's like, girl. <laughs> so I'm going to shave my legs probably today and then I'll get the wax tomorrow or next week. Yeah, we'll figure that out. Um, then I need to film the PR package for TikTok. I need to post on all the apps, but I'm going to post around 7 because that's where it says my audience is most active on TikTok. So I'm going to try following that to see if that makes any difference with my video performance. And then I need to work on a script for a video next week. I also need to give my mom a present. Her birthday's on Monday and it's Friday. So I don't know if I really want to go to the mall on the weekend. So I'm going to try to find her something today. I have no clue what to get her. It's literally January. We just had Christmas. So I don't know. So we're going to have to figure out. I saw this meme. It was so funny. It was basically like people who have birthdays in January, like y'all need to calm down. Like, what What do you mean your birthday is next week? Like, calm down. Can you wait a minute? Like, be patient. <laughs> we just had Christmas. <laughs> I thought it was so funny. Um, it was funnier than how I just reenacted it. But uh, anyways, we need to figure out that. I don't know what to get her. And then I also need to... Um, Oh, I want to show you guys what I got at H&M yesterday. I didn't show y'all, but I'll show you guys that. I actually was watching a motivational video this morning, and I wrote down this quote that I wanted to share with you guys. It says, luck is preparation meeting opportunity. And I was like... So, I don't know if Oprah coined that term, that quote, but she I heard her say it. So, I'm just going to give her the credit, because that's who I heard say it. I was watching, like, a Oprah um speech or whatever so she will listen into it um so yeah and i thought that was i was like wow i love that you do all the work and you're preparing and then eventually an opportunity will pass by and because you were preparing and the opportunity came together it's like that's you know the luck so i like that i thought that was a really good um quote to start my day i've been listening to different oprah's like motivational stuff in the mornings I literally just go on youtube and i search oprah speeches and i listen to them and there's this one channel i think it's called i forget what it's called let me see this channel right here let's become successful the only things i've watched on here are the oprah um speeches I also have some things from andrew huberman he is I think it's like a professor, I want to say, but I've been following him for a while and he has a lot of good stuff when it comes to like brain health and neurological health. I think he's a neuroscientist. Yeah, I think that's what he is. So this is him here, this guy. I haven't listened to any of his stuff on this channel, but I follow him on Instagram. I've been following him for like three years, I want to say at this point. And then I have listened to him on other podcasts all right it's 12 24 i need to head out the house so we can um run our errands and get back home okay let's do a quick outfit of the day i'm just wearing a top from Annan bang it's a cute little smiley face and bang smiley face and then the back this is the back 
And then these pants are from Aritzia. They're just white sweats. Big, I have to um, roll the waist down and they're still like hanging down here. So hopefully they don't fall on the ground. <laughs> But um, yeah, I wanted to wear a white bottom with this top and that's the only one that I had. I have so much stuff to replace in my closet. It's not even funny. Like this is not the fun. I love shop. Oh my gosh, there's a broken tree out there. All right, <laughs> what's I saying? Yeah, it's this. As much as I love shopping, it's not fun when I feel like I have to get everything all over again. Um, but I'm grateful. I'm not even going to complain. That's not, that's not something I want to complain about. But I definitely need everything all over again. Why is my battery on 11%? I hope I have another battery with me. All right, let's go. I just pulled into the um, plaza with anthropology. So we're going to go look for my mom's birthday present. Hopefully she's not watching this vlog. Don't watch this vlog. <laughs> my mom's present already that was really quick just got back in the car and we're done we're done shopping for the year <laughs> um but i did get some jeans at aritzia i got my mom's stuff earlier and, and then i got something at abercrombie so i'll show you guys once i get home hey girl so i'm back home I went to a little haul of what i got yesterday at h m and also what i picked up today um i did just get a pr package from Summer Fridays, their new lip oil, the Dream Lip Oil. So I figured I would try one of them because my lips are very much needing a lip oil right now. <laughs> I'm gonna try Blush Dreams, I think. I don't remember seeing these. Either I missed the um, launch or I don't know. This is what they look like, by the way. I'm gonna try this one. It's like this is pretty it's similar to like i would say the milk and um say lip oils where they have more of like a almost like a gloss texture to them like a lip gloss so yeah really pretty i'll try the other uh shades as well but i just wanted to put something on my lips for now and i also need to do like a tiktok i think i'm gonna do my pr for the week so let's get into aritzia so First at Aritzia, I went in there because y'all, I feel like y'all probably knew I was going to get those jeans because I kept going and trying them on in different sizes. And I went today, they had size 27, so I got them, okay? These are the ones I picked out. So I got these. And then I also got a couple pairs of leggings. They had the leggings on sale. So I wanted to get these these are my favorite leggings the tna butter i love these i've been buying these for years probably almost 10 years now and honestly the price has gone up quite significantly and i didn't even notice because the last time i bought them was years ago because i have so many that i didn't need to repurchase but obviously the ones that i used to wear don't fit me anymore so i was like oh i need some new leggings and girl the price has doubled from what i remember paying i feel like the last time i bought these it was like 35 dollars now they're 68 i'm so confused like what happened i i don't know but uh maybe i'm tripping there's no way it was 70 dollars because i used to always buy two at a time and i knew i was not spending 140 dollars on leggings like no the most i could possibly i don't know maybe 40 but it wasn't 68 that's crazy so anyways i got two because they were on sale they were 55 percent off so basically half off um which was the price that i remember them being anyway so i got two and these i got a large because they run kind of like tight i feel so this is how like small the large looks I feel like the largest, the medium was way small. And usually for leggings like this, I like to lounge in them. I don't really want them to like suck me in. And then I got the jeans. I got the crisscross. So the ones that go like this, the ones that do this, because I figure they're different. And I just got a couple pairs yesterday from H&M that are more regular. So I got these in a size 27. What is a size 27? 
a size four. So yeah, I, I guess a size four. So I got these. They fit so well. Love the way they fit. I'm so excited about those because I've been eyeing them for a hot minute and finally we got them. All right, and then I went to Abercrombie because I needed a coat for whenever, you know, we're going out to like something like a dinner or just like something that's a little bit more formal or just not as casual, I guess. And I don't have a coat that fits me right now. So for that purpose. So I picked up, oh, something's in my... I think one of my lashes. So I got this coat from Abercrombie. So I got this coat from Abercrombie. I've been wanting this for a little bit. I saw it for I, I saw this coat back in like the fall, I think, and I wanted it then, but it was regular price. And today it was on sale. It was like thirty five percent off or something like that. So I was like, "You're coming home with me." I got this in a size small, and if it's it's so cute you guys it's long it's like perfect it's so cute i love i love it i think it's does it have pockets oh yeah it does have pockets so i love it i think it's so cute what is that thread i have to cut this so cute oh no my dream. it does have a button right here and then also right here but usually with these types of coats I just wear them open and then I like drape my scarf and if it's really cold I'll just go like this <laughs> I'm being so serious I don't know if it's a New York thing or cuz I feel like I see other people in New York doing it want to be cute we wear our coat and then we just go like that when it's really really windy but yeah is that a coupon oh I think this with these jeans and a black top <laughs> a look okay it's gonna be really cute that's all I got at Abercrombie. I did pick up a bodysuit originally, but then I put it back because I wasn't sure about the neckline. I'm very picky with necklines. Like for me, I either like a really tight neckline or a large neckline. I don't like necklines that are like not like this actually, like this shirt. I love the neckline of this. And I hate when they're like this. And the neckline was kind of given like this I don't know I ended up putting it back but I really do want to get a bodysuit to wear with this pants because I feel like the X the uh, crisscross with a bodysuit would look really nice anyways from H&M first I got this sweater I got a striped sweater I think it's black yeah it's black and white I thought it was cute it's kind of cropped got a size medium this one I hope it's not acrylic I didn't check because y'all acrylic literally itches so bad and nowadays I feel like oh, it's 40% acrylic maybe this won't bother me I don't know I feel like everything is made out of acrylic nowadays this one doesn't feel as bad maybe the 40% won't be too bad I feel like everything lately in the past couple years has been made up has been made with acrylic and it itches like it's so uncomfortable can any do you guys have an issue with acrylic because my mom also itches from it Callie does I do and I feel like it's only been the past two years where I noticed a lot of clothes have acrylic in them I don't know anyways and I got this sweater which is a regular cotton sweater I thought it was so cute the color the color it says Chicago I've never been to Chicago, but I thought it was cute. Does that say East Coast? Oh, it says Gold Coast. I didn't know that was called Gold Coast. All right. I thought it was so cute. I love the pink. So cute, y'all. I had to get this. I don't even know. Honestly, this was in like the rack like this sideways, and I couldn't see what it said. I just saw the pink sleeve, and I was like, you're coming home with me. I don't care what you say. <laughs> But then I really like the pink. I really like the uh, logo anyway. So I was happy it said Chicago and not something that I didn't care for. Then I got another pink top. This is just like a regular top. See like this neckline, I don't necessarily love it, but I don't mind it because of the type of top it is. Tight. It's like tight enough, but also this top is kind of see-through-ish. So I feel like it's fine with this top. I don't know. I don't know, girl. You see the ingredients on this top. <laughs> the fabric. 
This does not feel like this one. Okay, yeah, no acrylic in here. I got, should I do a try on haul? I feel like I should. Not in this vlog, but like maybe next week. Maybe I'll do a try on haul. All right, then I got um, this pair of jeans. This one is, what are these called? Wide, high waist, full length jean. So this is what it looks like. And these I got in a size six. I think this one is a size six yeah so this is what it looks like it's like a uh, high waist and this is what the leg looks like it's very similar to the a goldie jeans in terms of the color this is my favorite blue for jeans very similar obviously the waistline is different and then the material is way different the a goldie feels like butter this one feels like more like a jean um, the Goldie feels like a jean too, but it feels like a very buttery jean. Like you could wear it for days. This one, you gotta take this off as soon as you get home. <laughs> They're cute. And then I got these, which are a little bit darker. So I wanted something similar, but a little bit darker. You can see here. Also the bottom is frayed like this. This one is the wide ultra high waist. It's like similar style, I guess from this angle but the color is really pretty um then i got some pants so i do want to start getting into like pants as well so cute these i got size six yeah this is size six as well really cute i'm pretty sure i tried these on in the fitting room so you probably saw me try these on so those are the pants that i got and then lastly i got this top from h&m as well so this is the type of neckline i like the wide so i like the wide or tight or like a v a nice v is cute um i just don't like the awkward like this i wanted it in black as well but they didn't have my size in black and i got a medium no i got a small in this why did i get a small oh it kind of runs a little sometimes i wear small and then sometimes i wear medium it depends on the top that is my haul from h and m this is going to be pretty much my end of winter into early spring wardrobe, I guess. I do want to get a button down top. I love having button downs and I think they will look really cute with the jeans. So I want to get a white button down. I did look for one today, but I didn't see one that I liked. The ones that I saw at um, Aritzia were oversized and I wanted it to be more fitted. And then H&M had one as well, but it was like too long because I want to tuck it into my jeans. So we're going to, so I'm going to look for that. Here's everything I got outside. I did stop at Wegmans to get sushi and I got a little like charcuterie tray for later tonight when I have my little self-care moment. But until then, we're going to clean up because we have some cleaning to do and I'll talk to y'all later. This is my little spread. I'm not going to eat all of this, probably just a couple bites from this and then a couple bites of sushi because it's kind of late and then I'm going to have my pomegranate and sanzo it's a mixture um yeah this is girl dinner <laughs> oh crap i wanted to try to find that show i think it's called like natalia or something like that so it's this show here okay i think i'm gonna watch this i'm gonna end the vlog here talk to you guys in the next vlog bye